Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Previously we discussed about how we can print stars in different shape, right? Today also we are discussing about a pattern program. But here we are printing numbers in different patterns, okay? So these two are our today's pattern. So now we'll learn how we can write a Python program to get output like this. Alright, so let's begin with the code. Okay, first we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. Okay, so here in our output here, we can see one, two, three, four, five rows. But in our program, we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to ask the user to enter the input. So we'll use input function for that. And I'll take one variable called n, which will store the number of rows or the input, whatever entered by the user equals and I'll use input function and inside that I'll print a message that is just enter the okay so here I'll ask the user to enter the number of rows here input function will take value as strings okay if I enter the value phi then it will take that as the string then it will store that string value in variable n but here we want an integer value right because here number of rows are integer so i need to convert this that's why i'll mention int here and next here we can see in the pattern we want to print numbers in rows as well as columns right these are the rows and here we can see the columns. So we need two for loop. One is to print numbers in the row and another one is to print numbers in the column. And first I'll write the for loop for rows. So for and here I need to take one variable and I'll take as i in and here I'll use range function. Here I need to mention the start and end i'll start from one i'll take end as n plus one okay in the range function this value is excluded if i mention range from one to six then it will give output as one two three four five okay so if i mention range as one and n plus one then it will give output as one two three four five till n okay so n plus one is excluded here we can say this is the row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5, right? And here in this uh, example, n value is 5. So I want row as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I took range as 1 and n plus 1. That is 1 and 5 plus 1. That is 1 and 6. It will give output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Here we can say so that's why I took n plus 1 not n. So inside that we need to take another for loop it is for column. So here also I will take range function. Here we need to mention the range. Okay. Okay this next for loop is for printing the columns. Okay in the row 1 we can see first we want only one column. Second in row 2 we can see we need 2 column and in row 3 we can see 3 column in row 4 we can see 4 column in row 5 we can see 5 column right that is when the row is 1 we want column 1 row is 2 we need 2 column row 3 we need column 3 row 4 we need column 4 row 5 column 5 we need 5 columns so here I'll mention 1 to i plus 1. Okay. It's because i is represent the value of the row. Okay. So column will start from 1 and till i plus 1. For example, if I take i value is 5 here, it will give range as 1 to 6. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will give output as 5. That is, if I take the i value as 5 this is the i value or we can say row value and 
If I take i value as 5, we need 5 columns. If we here take i value as 5, it is 1 to 6, it will give 5 columns. Okay, that's why I mentioned 1 to i plus 1. Next here, I'll use print function. And inside that I want to, we want to print numbers, right? So what I'll do is I'll mention j and end is equal to empty string. Here end is empty string because after printing one number, I want another number immediately after that. Okay. I don't want any space and new line between them. So here after two, I want another two after that only. Right. So to do this, so we need to use this end. Okay. End is equal to empty string. Next in the first for loop, I'll use print function. This is for new line. That is like after printing one here, we want to go to the next line to print numbers in the next row, right? So for that, we need to use this print function here. This is for new line. Okay. So now we are done with our code. So we need to save this and run this. So enter the number of rows. If I enter five, here we'll get one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. If I enter 6, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So if you want to print numbers in this pattern, then you can use this code. Okay. So now we are done with this. Next, coming to this pattern to print numbers in this format, that is here 1. 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, and 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, like this. Here in this code, we just need to change one thing that is instead of J, here we need to mention I here. Okay. So I'll save this and run this. It will ask the number of rows. I'll enter 5, and here we can see the output. Okay. So now here we can see I am using Python 3.5.1 here. But if you are using Python 2 and if you try this code, you may get errors because in Python 2 print is not a function. It is just a statement. Okay. So here it may give error here because of this print. Okay. If you are using Python 2, then you can write code like this. These things are same. And in the print, as I said, print is not a function here. It is just a statement. So here you just need to mention J and here we can't use end. That's why instead of that, I'll use comma here. Okay. Next in the first follow, I'll use print. Okay. And empty string. Right. Now I'll save this and run this so it will ask the enter the number of rows i'll enter five so here we'll get the output and for the next pattern here change i value save this and run this now i'll enter the number of rows as six and here we can see the output if you want you can just mention print then you can save this and run this And you'll get the output okay so this print for the new line and here be careful about the font some may not get the output similar to this because of the font style if we go here option and configure ideally here we can choose the font style if your font style is different you may not get the output in the same way okay so be careful about this font style okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you next class till then take care